Hey guys. Today we're downstairs. Um, we're in the kitchen. I'm gonna do a review on the um Dyson DC14 full kit. I did have the ant, which I had it. I couldn't keep on fixing it anymore, so. Yeah. So we're doing DC 14 full kit. It's a Dyson. This is carpet to bare floors, bare floors to carpet. I don't know what all that is for, but oh, it's the belt protection system. Here's the dusting tool. My other one doesn't have the dusting tool though. The furniture tool. That's why I'm not sure what exactly it's called, but I call it the furniture tool. Crevice tool. This right here is what you can take off to clean whatever's in there, like that kind of stuff. See? Makes it a little easier to clean out. See? All the DC 14s can do this. This is the newer model. Alright. This is a more of a newer model. This is the older model. It's the first one they made. So, just saying. Alright, um. Each Dyson is different, to tell you the truth. They don't make them the same. So, you may get lucky with the DC 14s. So, I'm just saying. And yes. I'll see what I can do about showing you how to change the belt and whatnot. I'll show you how to get access to the belt on one video and I'll show you how to put belt in in the next video. Alright. Here's some of them you can't take off like this. See? I'm trying. Some you have to push down and press. You have to press it. Push down, see? When to go empty, all you have to do is see this red button right here? All you have to do is that. See? And then a lot of stuff will get stuck. In between here, in between here and there, there's a piece of paper stuck right here. That's a good example. So you do have to clean that out too. The f one filter is in here. See? You could put, if you want your vacuum small noise, put dryer sheets in, alright, especially with the Dysons, you probably could do that with the Dysons, give me a sec, there's a second filter, see that, I'm going to show you in the next video how to access to the filter, alright? 
Give me a minute and I'll see what I can do. I'm going to do it right now actually. All you have to need is a, f a small flathead. You don't want a big one because you will break it. And there's a possibility a chance of breaking it. See? All you do is put it in front of here and lift up. Same thing here. Looks like she already... This, I bought this used. Alright, you wanna do a quick lift off? Hang on. And let's, and there's another trick you could do. Is see this? Wanna try and press into that. Alright, and it doesn't work all the time, but. If this thing could stop moving. Gonna have to pause this. Yes, it is a challenge to access to it. Which already did that. See? See this? Do not peel this off. You can't wash this part though. You do have to replace it. This is the photo that you do have to replace. I know it looks... It's actually purple, not blue. It looks blue on the um, camera, but it's not. It's dark purple. Alright, I'm going to show you how to take the holes off and on, alright? You do have to take the cord off when in use, we all know that, but if you're going to show somebody you want to take off the cord, you know you want to, don't plug it in. See this? That's the lift off button. You can use Hang on. You can use this part too for like clean out those registers or dusting or whatnot. Whatever you do, um you can use this. It makes it a lot easier. And you can use this handle. Alright. For like cleaning. I'll show you the cobweb. If you could. No, you can't see it. Well, you can see it a little bit. No, you can't. Sorry, guys. No, you can't a little bit. Oh well, sorry guys, um, this is good for cleaning out cobwebs, that kind of stuff. And we're going to use these three tools it came with. Alright, let me show you something. Sorry about that guys.
and all right when you don't press this yet but you want to lift up the hose first see it's a really long hose then press this button right here and that's to lift off button and then you can lift it off all right and then you can get the edges too and I'll do a vacuum test in a minute I think that's about it I want to say about it. Yeah, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, I've got one more th important detail. Hang on. Oh yeah, two. I've got something else. When this comes, before you take this down, it locks. So, see, I'm gonna do this. You really can't push it down. It will move a little bit, see? You have to press this. And then, see this? You have to press... You have to press down on this. Alright? So, that's about it. Give me a minute and I'll do a vacuum test. And, oh yeah, um, I forgot something else too again. If you're replacing the hose, if you got one that has a crappy hose. See this? That's what you press. Hang on. If it will stay for a minute. There you go. You're gonna press this. Give me a sec. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I do have it like that for right now, like... See that? You're gonna lift up on it. There's another way you could lift it, but... Let me show you really quick. See this? I could put my finger back here and lift it. If you're one handed. See? Hey, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do the vacuum test. Which I'm gonna do that in the next video, alright? I hope you like the um, vacuum review about how to use it. Give me a minute and I'll show you how to um, set it, alright? And put it into use if you didn't have any instructions how. And I'll show you. Give me a minute. Let me put this on. When in use, see this dent? See this? There's one each side. So you have to put your 
toe or your foot right there, then push it back, or pull it back, rather, and now you're on you, see? See? So I hope you like this video, subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time. Bye!